So hello guys, welcome back to my channel. I hope you guys are all doing so, so well. If you happen to be new here and have never seen my face before, welcome. I'm so, so happy that you're here. My name is Valeria. Today is one of my most anticipated days of the year. I'm so excited. Today we are finally decorating for Christmas. And I'm especially excited this year because you guys know if you've been here, I bought all brand new Christmas things. Basically Christmas threw up all over my bank account. I'm so, so excited because we got two brand new Christmas trees that are different than what I would normally do. Normally I would do a flocked Christmas tree and this year for the first time, I did just a green Christmas tree. It's natural cut, it's so gorgeous. I was actually gonna try to wait um to unbox it and have like my reaction with you guys but i just couldn't the day after we got home from florida i just had to unbox it and kind of like throw some things together to see how i wanted to style it and oh, it's so beautiful i cannot wait to share it with you guys i know you guys are gonna love it before we get into decorating i really want to set the christmas tone i'm gonna turn on some christmas music I'm gonna make some hot chocolate gonna light a candle and then we'll get into the decorating so excited about our new trees i wanted to show you guys what it looks like when it comes shipped to your house it comes in this very nice sturdy box that actually has handles on it so you can use it for storage if you'd like it actually comes with a storage bag for the tree so that's awesome i did not know that i got this from mcgee and co it's the norway spruce pre-lit tree and it's seven feet i believe they also have a five foot tree and then a nine foot tree i'm gonna open it that way you guys can see what it looks like in the box. This is what it looks like as soon as you open up the box. This is the storage bag that I was telling you guys about for the tree. This is what the branches look like up close. It's very, very realistic looking. As you can see, it's not flocked. It's just straight up green, which I was nervous about. <gasps> Here she is. Oh my gosh. I love it. She's gorgeous. I was so nervous about it because I didn't get a flocked tree. I thought it wasn't going to look Christmassy enough but I am obsessed. I'm so happy that I got a natural cut tree. It's definitely a lot different than what I typically do, but she's gorgeous. This is what she looks like with the lights on. This is all gonna be hidden when I have the tree skirt, but there's just a button to turn it on and off, and then there's eight different light settings. So right now I just have it for twinkling, and it's, gorgeous so one of my favorite things about this tree one it requires very minimal fluffing the branches look so 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 realistic there's a couple deep down in here that are like the cheap ones that you see on like those cheaper christmas trees but i think it's basically just a filler all of the outside ones that are actually visible look like real pine and then something that i love about this tree specifically for assembly with my previous christmas trees each piece has had like a plug-in and you have to connect the first piece to the second piece and the second piece to the third piece for the pre-lit lights but for this tree, there's not a plug-in for each one. This inside piece, I'm not sure if I can show you, has a plug-in. So once you connect the two pieces, it just plugs in and lights itself up on its own. And I love that feature because there's not additional wires in the tree, you're not seeing that plug-in. I'm gonna go ahead and unbox the other one, set it on the other side, that way I can see what it looks like with two Christmas trees. I'm so excited.
Okay, so I just finished sticking the picks into each of the trees. I went ahead and turned off the lights for them because it was hard to see where the gaps were that I wanted to fill. I also went ahead and cut off all the tags from the ornaments so I can just put them on without doing them as I put them in the tree. And then for the ornaments that needed some kind of string, I also added those. So all of my overflow of the ornaments that I didn't use, I put over here. I essentially just used one of each box and then I'm gonna see where that takes me. Over here, I also have all of the prep that I needed to do. So I added all the batteries um, to the candles that I'm putting into the tree. I also only ended up using one box. Here with the bells, I had to get a little bit creative because originally I thought I was either one going to make a bell garland, but I honestly just don't have enough bells for that. There's gonna be too much space between bell to bell, especially since I have two trees that I would need to make the garland for. And then I also thought that maybe I would make individual ornaments where I just take a bell, wrap some twine around it, and good to go. But I honestly didn't really like the thought of that. So I decided to put two bells on one ornament. I just tied a bell to each end. And as I started working, I ended up putting a cute little bow in the middle. I think that's going to be so, so, so cute. So I'll end up showing you guys how I hang those. And then I also ended up making these satin bows, which are so adorable. I'm just going to hang them on the ends of the branches. I was kind of playing around to see what size I wanted them to be. So with one roll, I was able to make two bows. Obviously I was kind of playing around to see what size would be best. I ended up cutting a roll evenly into four pieces and the bows were just too small for my liking. I ended up using an entire roll and making one bow and the bow part itself was just either too floppy or the tail of it was going to be way too long. So I found the perfect happy medium to be taking an entire roll and just cutting it directly in half and then it makes the perfect length. I'm so obsessed with these. Besides that I'm going to go ahead and put you guys on a time lapse put some christmas music over it and enjoy me decorating my christmas trees This is what we're looking like so far. There's still a couple things that I need to add on to the tree. And that is all of this over here. So with these candlesticks, it might be a little bit tricky because I do want them to stand up as straight as they possibly can. So I might have to play around with those a little bit. Hanging these will be easy. I'm just gonna toss them over a branch. The ones with the bow, same thing, just going to toss them over. That's so stinking cute. I love that. Oh my gosh. Love. These satin bows are literally the cutest thing ever. I'm just going to do the same thing, find a place to place it. I love it. I'm obsessed. I'm just going to go ahead and do that with all of the remaining items. And then we'll see the final result. Here's what the trees look like with the lights on. Oh my stinking gosh, they are stunning. I think the trees are beautiful. I do think I could have gone up to a nine foot tree, but I was basing the size more so on the size of the mirrors. And of course, I went ahead and decorated the back of the tree since it is reflecting on the mirror. I am obsessed over here. I do have all of the extra ornaments that I didn't end up using. I did get a ton extra. I don't know what I was thinking. I didn't even think that I had enough and clearly I had plenty. So I'm going to go ahead and return them, especially these because I know people are going to jump for joy if they see a few extras here that they can purchase. Guys, 
that is gonna be it for today's video. I cannot believe that I have finally decorated for Christmas. I feel like I've been talking about Christmas decor literally all of third quarter of this year. So I'm so excited that I finally just get to enjoy everything. And I don't know how I'm gonna get any work done throughout the day looking at this beautiful site. Oh my gosh. But without further ado, let me know in the comments down below if you guys already decorated for Christmas or if you wait until after Thanksgiving. If you wait until after Thanksgiving, I'm kind of side-eyeing you because that's just not enough time. It's been so long putting it up just to have it up for 25 days. No. But anyways, without further ado, I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Make sure to subscribe if you have not already, and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye, guys.